Have a look at this right here, guys. That engine cradle's rusted all the way through. Now there's nothing holding the back of that control arm. That's not a good thing. But look at the rest of the car. It's not all rusty. Rocker panels are still good. Everything looks fine except for that cradle. There's even paint on the outside of that engine cradle. Black paint. It rusted through from the inside. The thing is, with a car like this, you really can't tell that it has rust issues. It gives no indicators whatsoever. You can even lift the plastic on this rocker panel right here, and there's no rust underneath of it. When you get on your hands and knees and look under the car, you don't see any real rust issues, unless you happen to lock eyes with that one part right there. Probably the most important part of the whole car, the suspension cradle. The engine's attached to it, the suspension's attached to it. Your wheels are attached to this part of the car. And if you miss this problem right here, it could actually be fatal. When you live up here, these Subarus have a lot to offer. Cargo space, comfortable interior, heated seats, all-wheel drive, decent gas mileage, all things we value a great deal here in the north. Unfortunately, you're riding on foreign steel, and foreign steel is just not American steel. It might even be stronger, but in the Rust Belt, it's the first to disintegrate. I'm not saying this doesn't happen to American cars, but it doesn't happen as much. Usually, American cars become undrivable before they become dangerous, where foreign cars become dangerous before they become undrivable. And honestly, I'd rather be in an ugly car than dead. On these cars, it isn't the end of the world. That suspension cradle isn't that hard to change, and this car appears to be worth the repair, so I'll take it. It doesn't even appear to have leaking head gaskets. That's kind of weird. Somebody must have changed them recently. But if you're considering buying any foreign car, frame, or unibody, and there's even the slightest chance it's driven across the rust belt, even if it was only one time, go underneath of it and check all of the high-strength steel, the tube frame steel, with a hammer. That might save your life.